Willie, really, I'll send you a link. Unless Grumpity has it faster. Bien sûr. Alexa and I were singing a, a song about Je suis une verte yesterday. yesterday. Yes. I stupidly admitted the first thing I learned to say in French was, uh, sans vous, je ne suis un ver de terre. Without you, I am an earthworm. And then she looked it up, and there actually is a song to that. So. Oh, thank you, Inara. So I guess we are good to kick things off. Welcome, happy Friday, happy Halloween weekend. Uh, first of all, let's do introductions. Chap, would you like to introduce yourself Hi, sure. to our lovely group? Uh, I'm Chap. Uh, I'll be working under Alexa as a product manager for Viewer and maybe other things as well. Hello, everyone. Um, this is my second week. I'm still learning. Um, please bear with me. We are so glad to have you with the team. Uh, these are some of my favorite people that I've been working with for uh, over a decade uh, that have lots and lots of knowledge and have taught me so much. So you're in good hands with everyone here. Oh, no. there. Okay. Well, I'm still working on that. <laughs> Come on! It takes time. <laughs> I swear, uh, I'm going to start resident start asking residents for bears. You know, a lot of residents actually do have bears. It's pretty cool. I a, I will okay. demand bears in return. I think oh, there we go. Provide us with hippos. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll take a kitty kitty. So Dave is joining us today to talk about the performance work that he and uh, the graphics team are working on. Uh, we do have a project viewer that we put out, uh, and I will link to it in a minute. Um, we are continuing work on it, and I wanted Dave to give you guys a little bit of updates. Okay, uh, is that my cue? It's your cue. Okay, no, here I go, starting rambling. So yes, we've been doing uh, some profiling and optimizations using uh, Tracy, which some of you guys are familiar with. Um, and that's been going pretty well on some systems and not bearing much fruit on others. Uh, so if you can give that viewer a whirl and let us know what your frame rate difference is, that would be helpful. Um, also it is crashy crashy because we've been playing fast and loose with some, uh, things like enabling OpenGL core profile, which... Uh, will cause a crash when you open uh, the uh, uh, mesh import tool um, and doing things like moving things on the background threads. Um, so now we've got a background thread that actually calls GL text image 2D for sending textures to the GL to remove some frame stalls on the main thread and we moved like Windows uh, message handling to its own background thread so you don't get frame stalls from trying to grab a lock for the Windows message queue, things like that. Um, and also just getting rid of some places where cruft is crept in, um, like with EEP. Some bad things happened with the cube map update, uh, using uh, LSD structures to access parameters, which caused some frame stalls, and the cube map is getting updated a lot more often. Just all that stuff. Um, some side effects of that, 
uh, will probably retire a lot of the um, built-in instrumentation, particularly around the, the block timers, uh, because those have become a source of performance woes. Um, and now we have a compile time option to use a better external tool. Um, I think that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, do you want to talk about what's coming up? Yeah, that would be great. All right. Uh, coming up, well, we're going to be introducing some more threading uh, capabilities. Um, Nat is working on a uh, generic uh, worker pool to try to unify um, all the different background threads we have into something that can uh, pick up any given task, because if you look at what our threads are actually doing, most of them are asleep all the time. Um, so it'd be good to just let any available thread pick up any available task. Um, and uh, at the moment, I'm looking at rewriting how we deal with rigged attachments um, because most of our frame now is spent drawing all the wonderful rigged attachments everybody's made uh, and that is not using any of the machinery that we use for batching um, and is quite inefficient. Um, so I'm trying to take the fork of the render pipe that we have inside the avatar draw pool and move that into um, just extra passes and all the other draw pools um, but use the same machinery and uh, that we use in uh, LVO volume and LFace to batch all those up uh, instead of doing one rigged face at a time. Uh, we've already done quite a bit of optimization there not re-uploading the matrix palette for every single face when we can reuse it. Um, and hopefully this, this sorting will make that cache hit happen more often and make the draw calls go way down. Um, I also find some really weird things around uh, singletons. Um, singleton became, L singleton became thread safe at one point. Um, so every time you call L singleton get instance it takes a lock. So don't do that from a <laughs> loop. Um, I mean, it's just it's a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, put, uh, Tommy, do you want to talk about what you're working on? Yeah, sure. Uh, just go through frame stalls. So um, probably the biggest one is just uh, getting access to some of the E parameters kind of inside of a loop, which is causes some big stalls with the LSD array index operator. Um, that seems to be the, the biggest thing, and just cleaning up just the frame stalls that we got, which don't show up all that often, but just causes micro starting, which is really uh, a poor user experience. That's it. Yeah, so do you guys have anything that, that you'd want us to, to focus on that you're aware of, or that you've already taken care of, that we might be able to bring a patch in? Because it's it's really all hands on deck trying to solve the frame rate problem in general. Uh, okay, so to answer Katie's question, um, OpenGL textures two threads has been done. Um, we uh, it it doesn't use pixel buffer objects. I, I tried it that way, and it was slower than just calling GL text image 2D on a background thread. Um, we're using multiple GL contexts. So there is now an LL image GL thread that has its own GL context. And uh, LL image GL will get passed off to that thread. GL text image 2D gets called on that thread. And then the result gets resynced back on the main thread. Um, and, and yeah, that was 
that's a pretty huge source of frame stalls. It, it's not being done for every place that we call GL Text Image 2D yet. So like the cube map for the sky is still being done on the main thread, and I believe uh, media textures are still being done on the main thread. Um, but all the fetched textures should get uploaded to GL from a background thread. Um, would be really cool if we could do that with the vertex buffers too, because another source of frame stall is LED switches and rebuilding batches. All right, that's good to hear about uh, water collusion. Uh, Euclid's been working on that. He's not here today. Yeah, uh, I know Ptolemy took a look at uh, uniform buffer objects. Um, I can't tell looking at the profile that that would save us a ton of time, um, especially after fixing all the redundant uniform uh, matrix palette uploads. Um, but any anything that keeps data off of uh, the GL command buffer is good. Because it will help. Object. For some reason, the EVO stuff object. will, but we need to basically uh, do a better caching job of all the E parameters first before the EVOs will, will show up as a win. So it's coming, it's just uh, prerequisite the other stuff first. Uh, if So the 512 meg thing. Um, well, one, it's a lie. Uh, it uses way more than 512 megs, even when you set the slider to 512 megs. Uh, and two, uh, I've tried and failed to change that setting a few times um, without running out of memory on low-end systems. Um, so if, if there's a patch that you have that makes that work on low-end, yeah, that would be much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Like, like the drivers often lie about. How much memory is free? What would be really cool is if we get texture loading and streaming fast enough that page in and out of that 512 is seamless. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the issue was Intel didn't provide an API for that. There's NVIDIA and AMD both provide extensions to get the VRAM usage, but I thought it was Intel that didn't actually have something that was equivalent, so we should probably yeah. take another look at that. Yeah, like sometimes Intel reports not just how much system RAM you have, but how much how big your swap file is on top of that. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're testing our cross from low end to high end, and, but probably maybe one of the biggest deficiencies is just not that much focus on AMD hardware and maybe Max as well. Uh, we do have stuff, but I think we're kind of a little under hardware for, for that at the moment. But if you guys have insight into a little more lower end systems, and specifically the oscillations, that definitely, you said the coroutines is the cause of that, so that's interesting. We should make a note of that. If you see other oscillations in the frame rate, that'd be good to know. About. Uh, 
Yeah, the uh, the Mac viewer project viewer is not right now because the frame rate is actually cut in half um, with the changes that we've done. I, I think that is because of the default to uh, the core profile um, and the way that we deal with uh, vertex buffers in the UI and on particles when when uh, you're using the core profile, but I haven't verified that yet. Um, we're thinking about trying Molten GL on Apple, um, but we haven't done a proper eval yet, and still looking at how that would impact uh, third-party viewers for licensing. I don't know if you guys have tried it, but uh, if you Apple's OpenGL drivers are problematic, and OpenGL has been deprecated on Mac for a while, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware. Uh, so we're looking at ways to bridge the gap between now and whenever we support multiple APIs. Um, and Molten GL looks like it might be a solution. Uh, wow, an ARM SL patch. Wow. Hope I don't. Hope I didn't break that with the LL image GL thread thing. Um, in order to make that work, uh, the LL render global GGL, I made it thread local. I'm not sure how that'll interact with ARM. Has anybody tried out the performance project viewer yet? Oh, uh, which texture bug was that? So there were a couple. Uh, one of them uh, looked like it happened in production to I remember seeing one of those fly by uh, but there was another one where uh, the textures were all black um, and would flicker as you pan around and that was because of some well one, the, the the black one before loading was because of an optimization, optimization uh, and uh, push patches that's been fixed and the uh, the flickering as you pan around was because of a synchronization issue between the image GL thread and the main thread, and that's been fixed. So it, it's kind of a thanks, Worley. It's kind of a doing the thing to see if it makes stuff fast, not really worrying about making it stable or bug-free until we know it works. And, and then go back and fix regressions. Um, that's that's pretty much the approach that we're taking. Do we have any other questions uh, regarding the performance project? 
Oh, here we go. That's a good question. Um, ask me again after this viewerships, uh, because after this viewerships, there's probably going to be um, a Tracy integration on the simulator for internal dev builds, and we'll probably be looking at that code for that exact reason. There, there has been a request for that for, for some time, Kitty. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a good idea. Um, just faking out the simulator. Uh, oh yeah, we do have uh, Visual Studio 2019 support now. If you get the uh, 1.2 branch of auto build and set your auto build VS bird to 160. Uh, right now, let's see, Callum's not here, but Callum's trying to uh, get uh, Clean working. I don't know if anybody here has tried that before. Uh, there are rumors that switching to Clean will improve performance. Um, it definitely improves the the quality on uh, of the errors and warnings. Yes, uh, so on Linux and Mac, Clean support is easier than uh, Windows uh, on account of boost. At least that's what we ran into last time. Um, you have to have a more recent version of boost to support Clean on Windows. Uh, for Clean on Linux, uh, did you see a performance gain between GCC and Clean? I don't know because you know GCC is the worst, but. Kind of surprised by that. We, we we definitely saw improvements 
Simside. Um, but that work is still in progress. And still awaiting a good A-B test. Uh, since we seem to have a little break here, uh, we ran into an issue when we did our last release. Here is the status on it. Kyle, can you talk a little bit uh, about what broke with media? Absolutely. Um, with VLC, uh, is basically not doing all the job that it should for video playback. This most dramatically impacts MP4s, MP3s, and similar. But, for example, YouTube will still play uh, in media on a prem via CEF. Um, thank you, Crumpity. So we are pushing out fixes for that as soon as we can to make G plus H. As soon as that gets through Dev and QA, we will fast track that. Uh, to RC and anyone experiencing these issues uh, can then just hop right on over to make G plus H while it's in RC and this should fix all of their issues. Um, if people are screaming louder than we think they are, please let us know if the RC path is okay. We'll keep on track with that. Um, but we, we think right now that's the quickest path forward with the right amount of caution to make sure we don't make anything worse. Thank you, Grumpity. And I think that is everything we have for updates. Uh, floor is open. A uh, couple questions. Uh, first question is Windows 11 popping in on everybody. And I, I seem to remember, I think it was you, Alexa, mentioned, or somebody had mentioned to me that um, you hadn't found any, your QA hadn't found any major issues with Windows 11. Is that still the case? I have not personally, and I have been spending, uh, I spent three days last weekend doing nothing but building. Um, I have not found any Second Life issues with it so far. I have found a lot of other issues, <laughs> yeah. um, but nothing, nothing so far with Second Life. Uh, has anybody else here updated? I, I have not. I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, for the few testers we've got on Windows 11, uh, also no issues except just the the known one where it identifies itself still as Windows 10, but the you know the dead giveaway is that it's version 22,000, 22, yeah, and above. Yeah, I just uh, did. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to 11. Uh, I also got then the update, and that's what it reports. Uh, in the viewer to me. Yeah, we can't, uh, I don't think anyone on the team has updated to Windows, to the latest uh, Windows. Um, okay, so I'm trying you, to think you, of a polite way to say it. <laughs> No, I, I totally don't blame you. I wish I had not chosen to be a guinea pig either, honestly. Um, but if you run into anything weird, uh, send me a ping and let me know what it is, and I'll take a look and see if I can reproduce it. Yeah. And if anyone 
can reproduce it on Second Life, um, please send them to our, our Jira. I, I look at that daily. Me too. Uh, the other question I had was, um, I know it's a little bit forward thinking, but what's your no release window for Christmas? Oh boy, you know what, that's a good question. Can I get back to you on that? No. Nope. Please? <laughs> Um, okay. I need, I need to take a look at what we've got in queue uh, behind uh, the make GNH uh, Apple notarization media fix uh, and see where we, where we are both for viewer and server. Okay. And then kind we're, of we're, work, um, back, work backwards. We're still slow starting here with our QA to get this next release out. I definitely want to have it out before Christmas. Okay. Um, yeah, let me talk to the two teams and uh, we're we're doing the, you know, uh, minimum staff during the, the holidays, uh, you know, between uh, Christmas and New Year's like normal. Uh, we've got a Thanksgiving break. Uh, so, yeah, I need to look at the calendar and start planning everything out. <laughs> Twitchy foot. Yes, yeah, I see it, it over there. It, always this chair. It's only on this chair. Any other chair I sit in and sell, it's fine. Oz did this on purpose. I'm sure he did. It is weird. If, if agent equals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do we have... Oh, where we go? Takes me back to the duck walk bug. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna drive me nuts. What could that possibly be? <laughs> right? <laughs> Every time I come here now I do a hashtag twitchy foot before I even sit down. It always happens. <laughs> I oh, think Joe, it's the shoe. Can you respond to Coffee's question? Uh, who is that directed to? To you. Can you respond uh, to Coffee's yeah, question? Absolutely. Um, so we we did pause the mobile app. Um, I think uh, we um, are not. We are still very much interested in moving things forward in the mobile space. Um, we can't comment on this time what new developments we have, but I, you know, I, I do want to let people know that we, um, um, you know, th th there will be more news, uh, hopefully in the near future. Um, I'd rather ha give Grumpity when she comes back the floor to kind of uh, um, announce anything new, but I don't think we're going to have anything new for uh, a number of weeks. Um, so. I, mean, I hate to be vague, but that's what I can tell you. Um, um, you know, that's you know we're still committed to mobile, it's just that uh, we need to move resources on to other things, um, and we're also kind of evaluating, um, uh, you know, bringing bigger and better things to the table. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Can't blame you for trying. Yes. Do we have any other questions? Why does my foot twitch? I actually, I think I developed like a an anxiety twitch from Oz. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Panther, there are no cookies. I did not know it was my week to bring them, so apologies on my side. Oh, I can't remember. Does Mojo have a bear now? I was worried that question would come up. Yeah, um, oh, it's going to come up every time, I, so I think, you're um, going to need to uh, get on that. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, Chap and I have a, an assignment. Maybe we'll go do it together. So, uh, so there was a question about 
concrete plans for moving away from OpenGL. Uh, nothing's really concrete yet. We're still evaluating the options. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, th there's really only a few possibilities. There's, there's support Vulkan um, and use some of the Vulkan compatibility layers to um, run uh, uh, Vulkan-like code on top of um, D3D on Windows or um, uh, Metal on uh, OS X um, or use something that's uh, an off-the-shelf API abstraction layer to support multiple APIs um, or make our own API abstraction layer um, or just stick with OpenGL until the cl uh, cows come home um, and use molten GL to uh, get around the Apple deprecation. Um, Oh, Mojo, your uh, your mic's hot. Right? You're on the road. Who's got the uh, helicopter? Oh, that was Mojo. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh, at, at the moment, uh, I don't think there's really any consensus internally. Um, but uh, it's looking like the preferred first approach might be to, um, well, first get the frame rate and the engine cleaned up um, and then look at uh, supporting uh, Vulkan and OpenGL for a little while um, until uh, Vulkan support is ready for production and then look at retiring OpenGL and using Vulkan abstraction layers to run on top of D3D on Windows um, but that's not on the schedule yet uh, and like I said it's just we're still spitballing just mostly focusing on getting the existing code cleaned up and performing well as well as it can on top of OpenGL before uh, attempting a port to a, another API Yeah, and, and it's possible to do multi-threaded um, OpenGL uh, where you have a bunch of graphics worker threads generate command buffers that get flushed on a GL thread. Um, so even, even sticking with OpenGL doesn't mean that we'll have a single-threaded render pipe. Do we have any more questions, or should we leave? Should we leave Whirly and just to uh, solve shoe problems? <laughs> I uh, am I, having a wardrobe malfunction. I, I do want to make sure that uh, making the fast timer view not useful for code profiling isn't going to derail third-party viewer devs. That is okay to just use the the Tracy enable flag and rely on Tracy for for profiling okay that's that's definitely good to hear um, optic I'll have to check out optic um, yeah, Tracy is like a clone of Rad Telemetry, if you've ever used Rad Telemetry.
Oh, it looks like Optic is another telemetry clone. <clears throat> oh, uh, speaking of meta, um, when is Linen Lab going to sue Facebook, <clears throat> I mean meta, for trying to reinvent what Linen Lab already invented? It's a thought, isn't it? <laughs> right? Because, like, they're going on as though, like, they're the first ones to think of it. We've we definitely seen a, uh, an uptick in uh, mentions of Second Life since Meta has come out. Um, I thought you might, yeah. Yeah. Um, Some of hey, the you know. um, Decentraland, for example, uh, in the Cryptoverse uh, has pumped like crazy because of Facebook's Meta thing as well. You guys should be in Crypto. Just saying. It's being debated, but it's, uh, it's nothing I think that's on the horizon. Crypto or suing Facebook? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Uh. I wonder, Whirly. Yeah, NFTs are kind of funny. Um, I don't fully get them. I, I mean, crypto in general is kind of funny, isn't it? Like, it's a securities exchange with <laughs> with no SEC. Oh, that's common, I think. Uh. Something you guys should know is that um, there was a Chinese website that uh, pretended to be Second Life uh, in oh, an really? effort to sell crypto. Uh, I think we're trying oh, to Oh, really? It yeah. That's good to uh, know. So that isn't us. <laughs> if you find them. There's so many scams in this space. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Allegedly Chinese. Um, uh, right, right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how we figured that out. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to be a, an interesting time the the for uh, virtual worlds these next few years for sure. Well, I, I have a feeling Facebook, um, you know, if they actually go through with this, and it's not just a you know a fog storm to change the subject, so to speak. Um, I think that uh, Second Life will see an uptick for sure. And they can auto-invite my three friends on Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's funny that there will always be a demand for anything Facebook does that's not Facebook. That's that's kind of what I mean, yeah. That being said, I own two quests. <laughs> Yep. Uh, oh, Omniverse looks that. like it's yeah. I think Omniverse looks like it's aimed at enterprise mostly, uh, but I haven't taken a good solid look at it. Um, and I don't know the the whole the whole metaverse thing. I, I, we can we can wax philosophical about about metaverse for a bit because it's fun, but like the the, the one homogenous metaverse to rule them all just doesn't seem like it's coming um we're just gonna end up with a lot of disjointed virtual worlds with not much standards between them kind of like open sim 
Yeah, OpenSim at least has uh, the hypergrid transport. I'm not sure how live that still is. Um, yeah, uh, we're just getting up with different fiefdoms. Um, I um, I, I'm I'm gonna make you know how I make these predictions. Um, I bet you Meta is gonna make an offer. An offer for a standard? For Linen Lab. <laughs> That's what they do in net. They buy out their competition. You guys were here first. Please don't sell. Well, that's the way to just drop all the conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's above my pay grade. Oh. <laughs> well, that's all for this meeting, folks. <laughs> no, worry. It's just what you say. Yeah, thanks, Jess. <laughs> uh, we got a little over ten minutes left. Do we have anything else we want to go over? If not, everybody can run off and start working on their Halloween. I costumes. can't run. I got no feet. Okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> and that's Willie's fault. You can hover. <laughs> At least I got to hover. Uh, thanks, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank you, guys. Have you a great weekend. Feet. Happy Halloween. I got no feet. Those are my favorite shoes. Thanks for everyone's well, feedback. Maybe that's why you always have the problem, Jess. <laughs> you need to update your shoes. I mean, they were up to date a couple years ago ish. Uh huh. I remember. Uh, I don't we, go shopping like really. I remember when we all tried out Frankenfeet for the very first time. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times. Yeah. Grab a donut if you want one before I take them back. Oh dear. Don't wait. Yes, thank donuts? you for the snacks. Yeah, right here. Oh, there's donuts. Your, I came to your rescue. Yes. Thank um, you. Um, um. It's nice to know somebody has my uh, my snack. Chocolate. Snack back. Oh, yeah. That's the one right there. Oh, I feel like oh. this is kind of a horrible trick. It's it, between, the, between the head and this mask. Let me see. Now, is this oh, yeah. going to make me twitch? I hope not. <laughs> Anybody remember the world's greatest hat? Oh, yeah. AKA uh, Vodka Gimlet. Wait, what? Oh, you don't know if about this? you don't this? already know, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, no, I got to... Okay, so I don't, it I don't was... Know about this. It, once upon a time, it was a Linden initiation. Uh, that you would some some Linden would hand you something called the world's greatest hat, which later became so well known that it became vodka gimlet, and you, the person would say, "Oh yeah, yeah, attach it," and it was uh, uh, two prim animals uh, sort of uh, uh, doing their thing attached oh. to you. <laughs> You know, we deal with that kind of griefing almost every day in our gateway. <laughs> the moral of the story is, if a Linden gives you something that animates your avatar, politely refuse. <laughs> I uh, actually, cause, so there's still, the, you know, this issue that I, I can trick any one of you to sit on a prim and then I basically steal your animation permissions. And I did that with Oz, <laughs> and he sat on my prim, and I got his animation terms. This is going back a few years, and because at that time I was really trying to convince Oz to fix that, and he was like, "It's you know, what who problem? cares?" And so for several meetings in a row, I would animate him and stretch him and deform his avatar during the meeting. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to relog to fix it. So yeah, he wasn't pleased. Oh, good times. Okay, so much I'm off. Yeah, Bye me too. All. Have a good weekend. You too.
Yep, running away myself. Have a good one.